Let's begin here. A new bill introduced in the Ohio State House wants to help you pay for your medications. The National Inflation Reduction Act capped the cost of insulin to $35 for nearly 4 million seniors on Medicare. But those younger than 65 still had to pay the prices that companies provide. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow shows us how personal stories, though, may change the law. Medication prices are rising. According to the, to the American Diabetes Association, the total cost of insulin and other medications that manage blood glucose levels increased by 26% from 2017 to 2022. The average price in America is $99. But the need for the drugs hasn't changed. I had to work full time to make sure that I kept like my health care um, and then also went to school full time and really had to debate sometimes like between either tuition or like, you know, food or different like, you know, just life expenses and insulin. Type 1 diabetics like Manira Abdullahi have pancreases that don't create the insulin they need to survive. She found solace in her colleague Thomas Hall, who also has type 1. Both realized they want to help out people who suffer the same condition. I've got a bill to cap insulin. Do you want to team up? And I'm so fortunate he was he was down for it. The pair are actually lawmakers, a Democrat and a Republican. They introduced House Bill 384, which would cap cost sharing requirements for a 30 day supply of insulin at thirty five dollars and at one hundred dollars for diabetes care devices such as glucose monitors or insulin pumps. It doesn't benefit my party, it doesn't benefit her party, it benefits all Ohioans. The bill mirrors federal law that capped insulin at thirty five dollars for adults 65 and older that are on Medicare. The lawmakers say their legislation will cover everyone younger. HB 384 only covers insured patients, but the lawmakers say they're working on a bill for those who don't have insurance. We reached out to the world's major insulin manufacturers and pharmaceutical associations, but didn't hear back. Medical law expert Sharona Hoffman explained why those groups might not support the legislation. Can cut into profits. She adds that companies may argue that it's expensive to bring a new drug to the market. They worry about uh, whether or not they'll be able to remain profitable if we have a trend of increasing price limitations. Cost to them is about five dollars uh, and so it being an average cost of $99 to average American and more for some is unacceptable. The bill will continue to be heard in the coming months. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. And the American Diabetes Association keeps track of state laws regarding insulin prices. So far, 25 states in the District of Columbia have capped insulin co-payments for state-regulated commercial health care plans. You can see Ohio and most of the surrounding states don't have such caps. The limits vary by state.